Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with an awesome Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Tips and Tricks tutorial video. Today's video is all about giving you guys the five things, the five top things that you guys can spend your money on in the entire game. So, welcome to it. Now, when it comes to earning money in the game, it is relatively time consuming to do so, but... When you earn over that million dollar mark, that million polka dollar mark, it's going to be a fantastic time because you can go on a huge shopping spree, am I right? So, if you guys are unfamiliar with the best ways of grabbing so much money within the game in a reasonable amount of time, then definitely take a look at the iCard that, that's going to pop up on screen over here. And also take a look in the description, there's a playlist for our tips and tricks tutorial videos. I got a tutorial video on how to earn max money, it's great. So, uh, rounding up with our first... Uh, point on our list of over here for top five things you want to spend your money on in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is TMs, right? So TMs. Dala, why do you want to buy TMs? Well, this is for the Pokemon fans out there that want to start getting into competitive Pokemon battling. Now, technical machines are very important to that because you want to have access to teaching all of your Pokemon moves at your disposal whenever you want to. You don't want to say, oh great, my moveset requires U-turn and I don't have that U-turn TM. Or my Generation 1 moveset, believe it or not, uh, requires Hyper Beam. And I didn't buy that TM yet, dang it. So, spending your money on these technical technical machines are really, really important. So, you guys can see over here that we are in the Celadon department store. Right over on the second floor, you can talk to this guy. I have already purchased every single one of these, and I spent a lot of money doing so. Dragon Tail, very awesome move for shuffling around Pokemon and maybe inflicting Thunder Waves on them or other kinds of uh, status effects. U-turn, very, very good competitive mood for, uh, you know, switching out in case your matchup's wrong and keeping that switch momentum. Iron Tail, pretty decent. There's not too many Steel-type moves in the game, so you can absolutely use that against Fairy-types. We got Waterfall, great for speedy Water-type Pokemon or anyone that has access to it because of the off chance of flinching. Tri-Attack, very good on Normal-type Pokemon that are really, really bulked up with the special attack stat. And you have a chance of inflicting a Burn, Paralysis, or a Freeze. Uh, that's very good. Bulk up, so awesome for physical attackers. You bulk up your attack and defensive stat by one stage, and you can keep on setting up on Pokemon if they can't touch you on the physical side. Right over here, Shadow Ball, very great for uh, for the Eevee evolutions, I feel, and it's a, it's just a staple as far as a ghost move goes. And of course, Hyper Beam, right on board. You may think that Hyper Beam is really, really bad considering there's one turn afterwards of cooldown, but if you're able to knock out that one threat, that you were worried that was gonna sweep your entire team with a singular Hyper Beam, then it's totally worth it. So, you guys can see over here the prices are very expensive. Hyper Beam costing 100,000, Shadow Ball costing 30, uh, Bulk Up 10,000, Tri Attack 30,000, Waterfall 30,000, 50,000 for Iron Tail, 20,000 for U Turn, and 20,000 for Dragon Tail. So, there we have it. It's a lot of money. So, keep that in mind as you go through and play along in your game. That's where all the TMs are. Now, if you guys are curious where all of the other TMs are at, definitely take a look at my tutorial video that I have on it. We go through the locations for every single TM within the game, from TM01, Headbutt, all the way to TM60, Megahorn, and the locations of every single one all the way through. So keep that in mind, and uh, hopefully you guys can find them. You guys can find that video in the playlist, or of course, clicking the iCard in the top corner. So, now that we're out of here, we're going to continue talking to the audience, the Pokemon fans that really like competitive battling in our number four things to do of uh, what to spend your money on in the game. So, this next up is going to be the Mega Stones in the game. Mega Stones are great for competitive battling. I would say having at least one Mega on your team is par for the course if you want an advantage over your opponent. Uh, there are so many different Mega Stones within the game right now, lots of very good candidates for them. I would say uh, Mega Aerodactyl is really good. You've got uh, Mega Charizard X, Mega Charizard Y, tons of them. So uh, I presume that you guys have all beaten the Elite Four. If you guys have not, fly over to the Indigo Plateau in post game. You can talk to this guy over here and he sells his rare stones. And of course he sells them at the lowest possible price. Yeah, right, like I'm the champion, dude. Give me that champion discount. But anyway, you're able to purchase every single stone over here. Beedrillite, uh, Pidgeot Eye, and if you click on them, you'll see over here that they cost about 30,000 to pop. It's a lot of money, guys. It's a lot of money, especially if you want to collect every single one of them. I didn't spend my money on them yet. I only bought the Alica Eric Aerodactylite. <laughs> I'm thinking like Alakazite, but no, no, no. So we have the uh, Pidgeotite, Alakazite, Slowbrenite, Gengarite, Kangaskhanite, Pinsirite, uh, Gyaradosite. So these are all pretty good Mega Stones. 
and you don't necessarily need uh, a Pokemon to hold them during the battle uh, screen, you can choose to Mega Evolve or not. So there we go. It kind of bypasses the hold item mechanic, which is weird considering it's Generation 1, but I don't know. I'll let them figure that out. Anyway, so those of you guys who are competitive gamers, here we go. Uh, you guys can jump on board and buy all of your Mega Stones. Okay. Rounding out for our next one is definitely going to be uh, for all of you shiny hunters out there. Now, spending your money on shiny hunting supplies is going to be really good. Now, see, here's the thing about Pokemon. I can play Pokemon my way, you can play Pokemon your way, and we're all going to have a fun time with it. And that's what I really believe is best about this series. There are people out there who love Pokemon uh, competitive battling, and I love that. Like, I love finding the perfect nature with the perfect IV set and then working on changing up move sets and everything like that. I love that personally, it's, it's my favorite. Uh, but of course, you may not enjoy that aspect of Pokemon and you may like just collecting or filling up the Pokedex. Or you may like going on shiny hunts and finding that elusive shiny and then catching it in whatever Pokeball you want to. So with that being said, we're gonna cater to the shiny hunting audience right now with our number three on our list of the top five things to spend your money on. We're gonna head over here to any Poke Shop or any one of the Pokemarts, whatever you guys want, it doesn't matter which one you go to. As soon as you beat the game, you'll have access to pretty much everything on the um, on the list. So, one of the first things that you want to spend your money on when you're shiny hunting is absolutely choosing whatever Pokeballs you guys want. And make sure you guys buy them in groups of 10. You can buy them in groups of 50 and you'll get five Premier, premier Balls. So, that's a great way of getting a little bit extra. Don't buy like 49 of them or 38 of them or 37 of them. Buy them in like even groups of 10. So, uh, you're gonna need a lot of Pokeballs because you're gonna be chaining all these Pokemon together. Chaining them, getting them in over 31 uh, chains, and you'll be all set. While you're chaining, you definitely wanna have max lures on. Max lures will maximize the potential of you finding a shiny Pokemon in the wild. So, when you're going through, make sure you guys have your shiny charm if you were diligent enough to trade and or collect every single Pokemon, all 150. Uh, so use that in conjunction with all of these max lures. Uh, of course, you can use one and it's going to spray around you for a certain amount of time. I'd say buy like about 50 of them and you have them all in your group. It automatically prompts you whenever you want to use another one and one runs out. So that's a really cool feature. So I like that. So you'll have maximum chances as long as you have a 31 plus combo and you're walking around with a max lure. You have the best chances possible uh, of getting a shiny Pokemon to pop out, provided you have the shiny charm. So that's going to be a really good one. All right. So next up on our list is uh, number two. Number two on our list is going to be the accessories. Now, you can buy out all the accessories in the game and it's gonna be really fun for you. Simply because it's fun to dress up your partner Pokemon, whether it be partner Pikachu or partner Eevee. You wanna look like a boss when you're walking on through. I kinda, I, I'm kinda like hearkening back to using a ride Pokemon that is a shiny. It's kinda like riding around that Lexus. You have this really awesome, uh, you know, Pokemon that's floating around with you. So why not do it even better by taking a look at every single one of these accessories. So buy out all the accessories, completely buy out the entire floor with all of your money. You guys can see over here that you have little red bows, all sorts of bows that sell for about $1,000 a pop. Talk to her again and you can go over to fancy bows, which they are twice as much and I guess twice as fancy. So that's pretty interesting, you could do that. And of course you can talk to the bandanas and you can get them for all sorts of uh, 3,000 a pop. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but hey, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald Bandana. Ah, 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 you see that? See what they did there? Pokemon Black, Pokemon White. Wow, a little Easter egg. I don't know if you knew about that one. But anyway, so you can get some bandanas over there. Those are great. And then, uh, of course, you can go over to Flowers and you can purchase some flowers. So they're all pretty great. They cost about 5000 a pop, so that's pretty expensive. Okay, moving up, uh, same same point. Uh, you can go over here and you can buy glasses and sunglasses and stuff like that. They're pretty expensive, so just be careful of how you're gonna be spending. And unfortunately, there's no way of viewing all these prior, so you just have to buy it and then try it. And there's no refunds either. It's like they have a no refunds policy and a no try on policy. They're really strict about like health code and violations and stuff like that. All right, come across over here and you can buy a Diglett hat. Uh, I already bought the Diglett hat because of how ridiculous it is. I mean, take a look at this thing. It's so interesting. Would you guys say that it's the best hat that you can put on your partner Pokemon? I would say so. Take a look at this. Dude, you got a Diglett on your head. <laughs> you got a Diglett on your head! Look at this thing. Yes. Your mouth is hanging open while it zones out because you put a Diglett on his head. Alright, great. 
So that's kind of silly. All right, and of course, and then our last area for the accessories is right over here. We've got some hats that you could spend $50,000 on buying all of these guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The moment you've been waiting for. The top thing that you want to spend your money on in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is right here. It's right in front of you. You see it. It is. Dun, dun, dun. It's the crown. Woo. Yeah. All right. So, walking around town with the crown. You'll be awesome. You'll be really awesome. People are like, whoa, check that guy out. Look at his Eevee. His Eevee's got a crown on. Dang, yo, this guy spent like a million dollars, a million polka dollars. Dang, be my friend. Give me your Nintendo Switch friend code. <laughs> anyway, so you can buy the crown for just about one polka dollar under a million. So we're just gonna call it a million. Uh, Dala, it's, uh, it's 999,999. It's not a million. Yeah, I know, I hear you guys out there. Please keep that to yourself. Anyway, here's the crown. It's for that amount of money, and we're absolutely gonna buy it. Boom, right there, done. Spent all my hard-earned money on the crown, so. Ugh, get that diglet off your head. Take a look at this crown, baby girl, let's go. So, I think that is, uh, that's one of my favorite things about this game. Whenever I saw the crown for the first time, I said, dude, I gotta grind that money, and I gotta get that crown on my Pikachu, because we are kings. We are kings among men. Come on, Pikachu, show off that crown for the video. Yeah, look at that crown on your head. Oh, it was startled by my voice. Yeah, you're probably startled with how much expensive that crown was. I won't tell you how much it costed, but you better flaunt that thing around, all right? Oh, oh, yeah, you, oh, you want me to pet you? No, no I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just shining your crown up, okay? I'm, I'm shining your crown. Don't, no, this, this isn't for you. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. We love our Pikachu and we love our crown. So no, that's exactly it. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of showcasing all of the the top 10. No, not we didn't do top 10. I guess we could break it down into 10, but no. Top 5 uh, things to spend your money on in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. What did you guys spend your money on? Let me know. Was it anything similar to what we dictated inside this video? Let me know in the comments. That's going to be your community question of the day. What will you be spending your money on and let me know why. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. Why not? And if you'd like to see more top 10s, top 5 videos from me, by all means, let me know in the comments. You guys can watch our tips and tricks playlist by clicking on over here. You can watch our newest video on the channel right that way and recommendations over there. You guys are all subscribed, right? It's absolutely free and you guys can turn on your notifications to be notified of all the latest and greatest Pokemon content and everything Nintendo Switch simply by clicking on right over there and ringing that bell. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.